part of the Voyeur's Trail Show at my boy, Demi TV. It's Wave God in this motherfucker. Hey, shout my nigga Demi T, though. Dean TV Cool Emerge in the description box. Below. Go copy, son. Click the link in the description box below and support your boy. What's up, Dean family, Dean Nation? Today we doing Who Were the Comites? AKA Who Was the Comedic? The Comite. You feel me? And if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all social media and comment below what we actually want to do next. And it's going to be a Black History Month video, you feel me? Educate my people about their actual history, you feel me? Just trying to un make that shit not a mystery, you feel me? Make our history, uncover our shit, tell y'all about our shit, you feel me? For real, for real. No Billy Carson shit, you feel me? And if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all social media and comment below what reaction we do next. And no further ado, let's get into this reaction. Check out the merch in the description box below, bro. It's 100 camera and the Billy. Let's get into this reaction. The Kimites. The Kimites were an African people who established one of the world's earliest, most enduring, and most impactful civilizations of all time. Kemet is among humanity's oldest documented cultures and the inspiration for facts. I've been trying to tell y'all this shit, you feel me? Everything associated with civilization and human achievement. Mm -hmm. Kemet is most commonly associated with ancient Egypt. Yeah. It is a civilization that produced the pharaohs, the pyramids, mm -hmm. the hieroglyphs, Yo. and countless ways that modern scientists, the origin and the academics the still do not understand. The origin, you feel me? Modern history calls their land Egypt and calls them the ancient Egyptians. Mm -hmm. But these were Greek terms for the people who called themselves the Kims. Kemet Kim was populated from blackness. south to north by a people called Anu. Anu. This is a people that came God. from southern Africa and the Great Lakes region that first settled between the current Sudan and southern Fish. Egypt. It is the Anu who would gradually migrate down the Nile to conquer up to the north extreme delta. Kemetic civilization has its roots in the Great Lakes in southern Africa, where the first modern humans were born and where all the first traces of human civilizations were found. That is why the Great Lakes in Southern Africa were designated by the Kemites as the Holy Land, or the Land of God. Mathematics, writing, agriculture, and religion were all that's invented That's why I said, them. say, that's our land, literally. That, that, that. Two plus two plus two equals four. One plus one equals two. You do the math. You feel me? You do the math. Africa. This is evident <clears throat> by some of its architecture and advanced cultural systems. The name the people call themselves was Kim, meaning black. This is common in several African languages. Black, of course, was revered as it represented a very strong people. Being a sun-worshipping culture, the ability of melanin-rich people to black absorb the dangerous solar... Straight away from that, and they want to be following Jesus, bitch ass. ...rays and convert that into usable energy was highly coveted. Asari himself was called the perfect black. They know how to turn that shit into toxic relationships and turn train on that into doing bullshit and turn it into hate and doing shit, shit, shit that's not important. Shit that's not gonna contribute to the bigger picture, you feel me? Now Asar holds a particular place of high regard among comedic people as the giver of knowledge and the founder of the first civilizations on earth. In history, Asar is spoken of as a Kushite man who was of some high regard, perhaps even a king. He is credited with introducing the Medoneche, which is the language of nature or the language of God, as well as many other sciences key to founding and uniting a civilization. I feel like him. Asar married a beautiful Nubian woman who was named Aset, and the two united the two kingdoms, ruling together. 
Kemetic civilization began 27,000 years ago along the Nile River. The location benefited from predictable floods, rich fertile soil, and relative isolation. It was perhaps the world's first metropolis, attracting ideas and philosophies from all parts of Africa. Kemet also had close bonds with his contemporaries, Kush and Nubia, and may have in fact been an offshoot <coughs> of Kush expansion. Libyan armies have been attacking Kush for many, many years, eventually breaking through and seizing control in around 700 BCE. Now, the new Libyan leadership quickly shifted the culture of the country to reflect their own belief systems. In a lot of cases, they did this by force, suppressing more indigenous or natural belief systems at the point of the sword. In 759 BCE, the Kush pharaoh Pianki, who was, who was the successor and brother of Kashada, successfully came to reestablish Kemetic beliefs. He was able to crush the rebelling Libyan armies, destroying the strongest and most influential of the Libyan kings who had taken up residence in Lower Kemet. Now, Pianchi did offer forgiveness to the Libyan kings who chose to surrender on the condition that they also surrendered all authority to Kush. Now, following the surrender of the Libyan kings, Pianchi himself returned to Sudan, where he continued to rule and put the whole of Kemet from his seat of power there. However, in Kemet, he did leave a Kushite military to occupy Kemet in order to ensure the foregoing of his authority. The integrity of Kemetic That's sovereignty smart. was almost constantly under attack because Kemet was rich in both material goods and scientific knowledge. So let's talk why oh, Kemet. We see that now. now, Kemet became, over the years, a place of great wealth and great knowledge. They enjoyed the finest medical care at the time, they had leisure time for arts. They also understood the value of gold as a superconductor of energy. And you'll see gold used not only in architecture, but also on personal adornments to aid with the flow of energy in their personal lives as well as spiritual lives. If we look at the external attacks on Kemet, the first attack really came at the hands of the Assyrians in 763 BCE. Now for eight years, Kemet was the battleground between Nubia and Assyria. And that brutal Why Assyrian invasion actually ended Nubian control of the country. Black versus they would restore or sovereignty, or but they were again attacked by the Persians in 525 <clears throat> and the Greeks in 332. That actually ended completely indigenous rule of the Kemetic lands. And then, of course, the Romans invaded in 31. And following, the Arabs entered in 639 CE Damn. as part of the Muslim invasion. Bunch of fucking now, Kemetic and similar belief attack. systems were suppressed to promote a Judeo-Christian agenda. So when the Arabs came into Kemet, many of the indigenous Africans migrated to other places of the world in order to avoid forced conversion to Islam. Yeah, Among the places that they went were to the Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Cameroon, parts of the Zulu Nation, South Africa, and some other tribes like the Dogon sought isolation in the mountains of North Africa. Just to not get forced. The myth That's of the crazy. Kemites. The Kemites believe that the source of humans on Earth is of an extraterrestrial nature. They believe that the first pure humans were either transplanted to Earth or created on Earth by a superior race of human-like beings. God These alien high. beings claim to be from a planet within the orbit of the star known as Sopdep, also called Sirius B. They've been called by many names by different groups of humans on the planet. The Kemites referred to them as the Enid, or the Nine, but they held countless other names. For this discussion, we will simply refer to them as the Primordials, or simply the Prime. It is important mm. to understand that yeah. many early African civilizations were able to accurately predict the existence and location of the Sopdep constellation it's and its planetary thing. bodies long before Western science was able to create lenses <clears throat> powerful enough to detect them. The Prime first came to Earth as far back mm. as 250,000 years ago and either created or sired the first pure humans to walk the face of the Earth like in the southern and far, Great Lakes yeah. regions of the continent of Africa. Certain Kemetic and Kushite belief systems attribute the Pharaoh himself 
as being in the direct line of the extraterrestrial being called Heru of comedic beliefs. Whether Heru, this is intended to imply direct lineage Horus. or attribute creation is not understood. The Prime were a driving force in the Horus development Heru. of the new human colony. They taught these early humans mathematics, writing, agriculture, masonry, and of course, pyramid building. Oh, they were smart, man. The Prime either directly controlled or influenced the Great Migration out of Africa into other continents on the planet, and were responsible for founding many civilizations around the world. The Prime known as Asar was tasked with spreading knowledge throughout the world. Among the technologies that he passed to humans was of course pyramid building. A pyramid's primary function is to attract and channel cosmic energy, allowing for such feats as transportation or communication between solar systems in our galaxy. I didn't know Each that. Each pyramid is built on very specific sites where natural lines of energy all. exist. Transportation. Prime stayed on Earth for many years, and hundreds of civilizations rose and fell under their direction. At some point, they decided it was time to return to their home in the Sopdep star system. The human genius Emotep was taken with them. Oh, man. The descendants of the Anu thrived in Kemet, this is amazing. And Kush, and other areas of the world shit. for thousands of years after the Enid returned back to the Sopdep star. At some point, another alien presence arrived on Earth, seeking to establish their own genetic line and their own colony on the mineral and energy rich planet. This group was known sure. as the Gregory, and they were a very militaristic type the of people. Gregory. They invaded the Gregory, Earth, initially the Gregory, establishing yeah. strongholds in Sumeria before reestablishing in what their so city power was on the known as the Roman Empire. Once upon now, a time, through some of their mechanisms, time. they were able to send multiple armies at Kemet, many of which we have mentioned previously. And once they had broken not only Kemet, but other indigenous tribal belief systems around the world, they were able to repackage and resell this a twisted shit blows version my of history. Mind. Fortunately for what the all fuck? of us, the direct descendants of these Kemites continue to live and thrive in many parts of Africa and we other are areas of the world. We are and them. They've been able to keep the traditions we are the and cultures tribe. and knowledge of their people alive. So the comedic spirit Pay message attention, and teachings people. endure to this day. Yeah, I love that. I like that, man. If you like that too, then you can like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all social media and comment below what reaction you want to do next. See you guys next time. Love you guys. I'm out. Go show this channel some love and tell them Dean sent you. Hasta luego.